What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London, how are you doing? And today I am joined by this man, Archie Hamilton, who has just set up a YouTube channel. Just set up a YouTube channel. Which is very exciting, <laughs> and we're here in Monaco with the BMW M2, which is a press car that has been lent to us and the Shmi 150 Tour, and I've been given the key today. And seeing as my car is rear wheel drive and one of the attributes that I wanted in my Lamborghini replacement was rear wheel drive so that I could have a little bit more fun. See anyway. <laughs> Archie is obviously completely experienced in road cars, race cars, and I thought what better way to start I suppose in learning about rear wheel drive is to one take baby steps and drive the BMW M2 up and down the mountain a couple of times to then hopefully take what I've learned from you and that <laughs> car and put it into there so I can get the maximum potential out of that beast. So let's head to the top of the mountain and have some fun. And as if by magic, we are now at the top of a stunning mountain just above Monaco with Archie. And the BMW M2 is running, the engine is on. Archie's gonna jump in and just give me some words of advice as to what it is like to drive a rear wheel drive car. You're obviously used to it. You have done many, many miles in many, many rear wheel drive race yeah. cars, road cars. So I think let's Sat just jump in. race cars. So I Sat know how you drive as well, so it's all good. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Oh, Archie's in first. Oh yeah, in the M2. Flick it to the right, and then that will then be, you in can either drive. have it drive. So if you flick it once, it's back to drive, flick it again, back to the manual box. We want it in manual, because we're going fast. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> so Paul, you just need to have a feel for the car. As you can see, it's very slow. It's, it's <laughs> not slow at all. Basically, because I've been used to a Quattro system on the Audi R8, yeah. and then the four-wheel drive system on the Lamborghini, yes, they are rear bias, 70-30, 70 to yeah. the rear. There was still so much grip in the front of the car, yeah. whereas, now I've done a fair few miles in the AMG heading down to the south of France. Yeah. I've kind of learned that there is a completely different weight balance yeah. with a rear-wheel totally drive car. Now that my engine is in the front rather than either mid-engine or at the rear, like Look. this car, yeah. I thought this would be the perfect car to take baby steps into with Learn. you as a with you as a driver, <laughs> but then as a passenger as well, yeah, exactly. learning about rear wheel drive cars. I'm left for braking in this car. Because you're I, a race driver. Because I'm a racing driver. <laughs> <laughs> coming through. I'm at the on, I'm coming through. <laughs> no, basically I left for braking in this car because I feel I'm like, it's kind of like a sports car, but it's not. But when you left foot brake, you get more, f you get more brake pressure. Yeah. Because you don't get as much feel through your left foot. Yeah, as yeah, your right. yeah, yeah. So I like to left foot brake in this car because it's got two pedals. Yeah. Okay. As the viewers might not know, it's actually got two pedals. Yeah, this is the <laughs> automatic yeah, gearbox exactly. rather than a manual yeah, gearbox. Yeah, exactly. So you have two which pedals. Which has three pedals. Yeah, which has three pedals, obviously. But when you have a third pedal, I feel that third pedal needs to be by the clutch because you're going to be changing gear at any yeah, minute. Yeah. Whereas when you've got two pedals, your feet only have to be over two pedals to drive the car. Yeah. So, do you want to see my feet? Oh, la, la. <laughs> That's a Nike advert. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn, basically, to drive. It is going to be my turn to drive. <laughs> and one thing that I will say before potentially you guys expect tire smoking power slides all the way up the hills. One, I have very little experience of driving rear wheel drive cars or just cars in general. We need to go to a skid pan and just go We do, we we do need to go to a skid pan. <laughs> I need to learn properly how to drift. This is definitely dipping my toes in, taking baby steps, driving BMW's new high performance little tiny little Hot Wheels style car. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Fuck yeah, <right? laughs> and um, I think what I was going to say, but obviously you just proved that wrong, is that <laughs> this weather is almost too good. It is it around is. 23, 24 degrees bone dry. So let's cruise back up, change drivers, set my put it back to, Should we just put it back to comfort and then we can just cruise? Let's just see what it's like. Let's see what comfort is like compared. How do you feel? Comfortable. <sighs> oh, let's get closer to the... Hello. What are we in now? So now you're in drive one. So if that was in, yeah, there you go. 
Now we're talking paddle shift. Okay, so what are you playing with there? Traction? Traction control. You've been in BMWs before. No! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know that went. Fuck it out! That was better than mine! Fuck it out, fool! <laughs> Don't swear on Super Sorry, Bowl sorry. Then. Beep, 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 beep. You're gonna beat that out? Yeah. <laughs> That was good. <laughs> was it good? Yeah, it was decent. So learning how to drift and learning how to yeah. drift and we've already gone sideways. So now we can just go back, pack it up. <laughs> so how you how do you feel the drive is? Well, I mean, left hand drive it's always a little bit tricky to get used to, but I mean the gear shifts are lightning quick. They are quick. The steering is really nice and heavy. Yeah. Nah, this is this is quick. Yeah. I'm definitely yeah. not. Oh, we're in a cloud now. <laughs> I'm not revving the car out just yet because yeah. we did have a hairy moment when you shifted up right at the top yeah, end of the Yeah, but it rev. just snapped. And it just, just like... And it did just snap. And I tell you what, the Audi R8 and the Lamborghini with the short wheelbase are very, very snappy cars. And I did drive yeah. the R8 with traction control off. I, I never I drove the Lamborghini with traction oh, I've control seen. off. And it's mental. Um, I only drove it in Corsa, which limited the traction. Yeah. And you could have a little bit of play, but it was incredibly snappy. Really, yeah. Whereas the AMG, it's a slightly longer car in terms of the wheelbase, um, how far the front and the rear wheels yeah. are. Yeah. I don't know why I'm trying to sound technical. To yeah, you're just saying, you, know, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. The AMG, <laughs> the AMG definitely is a lot sort of slidier. Oh, okay, okay, that's drifting. That was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> We're getting some good slides on. Why don't we take your AMG, it's like an airfield. Totally yeah. open place, yeah. and then we'll just just um, turn all traction control Learning how to off drift. and Part two. Part two. Yeah. Coming soon. Steering like, in Sport Plus, the steering is much heavier than the AMG. Think? Yeah. Yeah. Much heavier than the AMG. And I think the reason is the AMG has got the electric steering, so it's very light at low end, which yeah, makes yeah, it yeah. very easy to drive around the town. But then when you're on it, I've been in your MG. You have been. Loved in your it. Freaking loved it. I just love it. I think you've got yourself a totally different, <laughs> <laughs> totally different car, which is just a different sound as well. Like yeah. it's a different sound. Like completely different sound. This is a little bit different, but it's, you know, I think with this car you know what it's going to sound like before you drive it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Whereas your car is like I'm not really. This is like 40% throttle. I know, exactly. And it's, and it's going some. Yeah. Okay. I'm, okay, Paul. <laughs> okay. I would say, if you could do anything to this car, the first thing, if you, let's say this arrived at your door tomorrow, what would be the first thing you'd do to this car? The first thing. They delivered exhaust it. Exhaust system. Yeah, so that's an over a grand. Yeah. Yeah. I'd definitely do an exhaust system because this has got a lot of power. Yeah. But I think people that are driven it still think that it's underpowered. It's underpowered. But then you're getting it's, into it's the M3, M4 territory. So add an exhaust system, it adds to the whole we'll sort chip of it. excitement. Yeah. But that is that second gear, it really kicks in. And then yeah. it's, like, yeah. if you were in the wet then, you'd be oh, like I, fully... I, I would be in that wall. No, no, you wouldn't be in that wall because I would... I'd put a spell that you would not be going that wall. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> uh, but no, you would, it, would, it would catch you out. So this car... Maybe in the wet could be quite lethal. Yeah. It could be. Yeah. If you have everything off, like everything off. Yes. Oh, it, completely. Like it would be an animal. Yeah. yeah. And I said in your video that this car is better situated for Britain yes. because it's wet and you can have a little bit of fun. Yeah. But exactly. now we've found how to turn the traction control completely off. It's fun. Are we saying that we probably shouldn't drive it in the wet with the traction off? I'd say so. <laughs> the first gear. If you rev out the first gear, it doesn't give you enough no, power. It doesn't give you enough. Gear. Doesn't give you enough. But then, as soon as you're in second and you go into third, the gear shift is lightning. Lightning, and which you are at the right revs to just continue. Maybe there's something that can be done. Like I don't know. Oh, all right, that's a wide line for a bike. Bloody hell! See what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, I know. Second and third are perfect. First, yeah. it's a rear-wheel drive car. But I still think the sound, the looks, the interior, yeah, and potentially the performance with the Crotro system, the RS3 is a, a better car. Yeah. So if you, like, if you had the choice, M3, RS3, 54321, say. RS3. Oh, okay. There you go. 
Well, even though even though it probably isn't as fun to drive, yeah. I think if I was able to put more miles and have more experience in this car, this would be this would progressively get better and yeah, better. Yeah, I think so. I think but the RS3, you just get in and it will stick to the road and just go. They are unreal. They, they are, are crazy. Incredible. But yeah, as a sort of a first drive, what do you think? This is the first time <laughs> that I've got in a car and turned traction control completely off. <laughs> oh, good fun, good, good fun. fun. We Let's literally have no fuel off. left. Yeah, we don't have any fuel left. Be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing goes down this way. No, that's automatic. Bloody hell. Stop playing with buttons. <laughs> We're done. We are done. Finished. Ooh, it's, I thought it was going to roll. It's, it's, even it's, though the handbrake's on. It's over, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was awesome. That was, that was, that was so a cool. lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So um, we have also shot a video on Archie's channel, Archie Hamilton Racing. If you head over and check out him driving <laughs> me down and up the hill, which uh, scared the scared a little bit. I've, got, fine. I don't think I've, got, I've got jelly legs now. I'm just all like, <laughs> just like jelly legs. Yeah. Awesome little car. And cars, there are a lot, there's going to be a lot of content or a lot of footage of this car over on Emma Walsh's channel, Seen Through Glasses, and a few others who have been driving this, driving this car. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. Please give it a thumbs up if you love the BMW M2, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Make sure that you subscribe if you haven't already, and head over to Archie's channel. Link in the description. Thanks, guys. See you Peace tomorrow. Soon.